crispy. Hey, what's going on, guys? We're in the Rasta Burn Review. This time, the Marvel Legends and Baku Build a Figure Wave Dora Milaje. Very excited about this. When the Black Panther movie came out, it really got me into the comic books and whatnot. And when I saw the Dora Milaje on screen, it really inspired me to get an army of them since the Nakia figure came out. So I got two of the Nakia figures and then I really wanted to get some head sculpts, um, different head sculpts, because obviously the Dora Milaje are bald. So um, I was going to hit up Glassman Customs to get um, some head casts by him. But when this figure was announced, I um, forgot about that idea. And I'm really excited about this, man. Um, it's genius that they gave us three interchangeable heads. And now they just have Nakia as their own standalone figure. Or what they probably were doing was um, giving these heads for Nakia. Because I know that people wanted to army build Dormelage. But yeah, man, this looks really, really cool. You can see her on the side. You can see her on the back. I'm really, really liking the new packaging artwork for the Marvel Legends. Even though I do think that they can have a little better, better like safety, like so they're not easy to break into. But yeah, looks really cool. All the figures in the wave, and yeah, man, really excited about this wave. All right, guys, let's open this up and give my opinion. This figure comes with a ton of accessories. First, starting off with the interchangeable heads. I like this one a lot. I like that little tattoo she has. And then this one's probably my favorite. She's an angry, screaming face. And then this one's Ao. This is the only one that I remember. She's a really good looking woman. I like this one a lot. And then she comes with this dagger. Just a plastic color, no real paint detail. And then she comes with this vibranium spear. And if they painted some blue, that'd be really cool to show off the vibranium. And then she comes with the same accessories that Nakia came with, but they're pretty cool. They painted differently, the green. And then she comes with the leg to M'Baku. I like this a lot. I like the detail. Here is the Dora Milaje figure herself. And I really, really like this figure. I would say I like it more than the first version. You know, the Nakia version. But this one is really, really cool. I do like the fact that they updated the costume. Where it, you can see, like, different designs and whatnot. This is, like, a deeper red. Where the other one was, like, an orange. And I like this a lot, man. It's basically the same figure, just painted differently. And again, man, I love this head sculpt. Um, all three of the head sculpts are amazing, actually. I'm going to talk about them separately, but these are really nice. Um, so, yeah, just the, basically the same figure. I do like this design a lot. Um, very African. I like it a lot. Yeah, man, very cool. Um, like on the first version, be very careful when you move the shoulder up. Um... On my first Nikita that I got, I moved the shoulder up because I thought this was like a soft rubber. It's really not. It's a hard plastic. Not like super hard, but like it's, it's not very pliable. So when you move it up, just move it up like that. Just don't move it up more than that because it will break off and you don't want to deal with that. But yeah, it's a very nice figure, man. See the Black Panther symbol right there. And I do like the fact that they updated the legs. On the first version, it was like... Uh, it was her skin and this was like tattooed on her and I'm that was a little weird But it does look better here. I'm not sure if these are her pants or her skin, but it still looks very cool I Do like the fact that they gave her red stripes right there and again base is the same figure gave her different shoes So yeah, man very very nice figure Here are all three of the head sculpts again, and I really like all of these like I said before I was gonna get some head cast by Glassman Customs, but I'm glad that these came out and these are really, really cool. Um, I do want to get another one and kind of make it more comic accurate. By that, I mean like the Dormer Lodge have usually like um, white tattoos on their head or red tattoos on their head. And um, they were fine as hell in the comics, man, just to put it out there. They were really good looking in the comics, especially in like Doom War and whatnot. And um, recently how they've been drawn... Um, like, I want to say in, like, 2016, when the um, uh, Black Panther book, um, Nation at Our Feet, um, I love how they were drawn in that book, and I do want to see Adore Milaje like that made. But as far as these figures, I'm really glad that we got them in these form. Uh, I do like the fact that we have this AO head. These two, I'm not sure exactly who they are because they weren't really mentioned in the movie. But these head sculpts are very, very cool, and I do want to um, get some more and paint them up a different way. The articulation is the same as it was before. This is one of the better female molds. The head looks up, moves down, side to side, kind of pivots. Arm moves back and forth, up and down. So at the arm, single joint at the arm. I do like the fact that it goes in deeper. That's very nice. 
swivels side to side, moves up and down. Again, don't move this arm up too much, make that the limit. And she has a very nice diaphragm joint, back very far, side to side, and pivots. The waist swivel, leg moves forward and back and out, swivel at the thigh, double joint at the knees, foot moves up a little bit, moves down, and she has a nice ankle pivot. So I really do like this articulation on this figure. You can get her in a lot of cool poses. Here they are next to Black Panther and Okoye, and this is great, man. I'm glad that we have strong representations of black women in figure form. Um, I plan on getting one more of this and using the heads and getting two more of the Nakias and just having uh, three more of the Dormilaje. Again, with me, when it comes to collecting, I'm not big on having, like, a huge amount of army builders. I, I try to limit to, like, six or ten. Uh, I try to... I don't want to go beyond that, but... Around 6 or 10 of these is fine with me. And here they are next to the Vintage Way Black Panther. And like I said before, I would love to see Comic Door Milaje in uh, figure form. And what's funny is when this second Black Panther wave was announced, my boy um, Rectangular Todd, he was saying that the possible figures that could be in the wave. And he showed pictures off like um, the Door Milaje, Black Panther in this form. And the pictures he showed off made it seem like it was going to be comic figures, but... They were actually movie figures, and I was shocked that we got movie figures. Actually, not really shocked because I knew that, you know, with marketing and whatnot and how successful the movie was, that they would probably do movie figures. But, you know, if we were to get a second or like a third Black Panther wave, um, probably in like 2019, or even when Black Panther 2 comes out, they wanted to give us comic figures in the wave. I would love to see Common Dorma Laje, um, Killmonger in his comic form. And man ape in um, an actual man ape, not like um, in the movies, and maybe like um, a Black Panther Hulk Buster, like we got in the comics. Something like that would be really cool. But yeah, I just want to see more from Wakanda and whatnot. I'm gonna rate this figure ten. Really like her a lot. Um, she's heading around GameStop right now, and they have her on her website right now. So I would wait until then or January to pick her up. Alright, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.